Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna have fun today. I'm actually just giddy at the thoughts of it. Don't know how this video is gonna go. Normally I kind of have a little practice run, but I don't think you can practice this one. As it's Halloween next Thursday, I thought I would do a DIY costume. I am going to be my absolute idol, Bob Ross. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, you are in for an absolute treat. Just search his videos on YouTube and you can thank me later. So I'm totally aware that I look nothing like Bob Ross, but hopefully by the end of this video, I will be the vision of Bob himself. Um, if you are heading out this weekend, because I know this weekend, even though Halloween is next week, this weekend is the bank holiday weekend in Ireland and that's when everyone would dress up and go to the pubs and stuff and have fun. Also, my niece and nephew are two and three and I think they're gonna come to my road to trick or treat. So Bob Ross is coming out twice <laughs> in the next week. I would say this DIY is a last minute. So literally, if you are in the Halloween shop and you cannot find anything, if you can find a wig and a moustache and get like a shirt and jeans, you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna get straight into this video. So I think we're gonna start with getting dressed, okay? So, Bob Ross wears an infamous chambre. Is that how you say it? Chambre? Shirt. So I have a size small, medium man's shirt, which I did actually buy this for 10 euro and pennies, which I don't like buying stuff and not reusing it. But my little brother is a size small, also, I loved your guys' comments on my little brother. It was my office move video and he farted in, like, I think it's halfway through the video. So funny. Anyway, I will give this to my little brother when I'm finished with it. Then, you guys know I don't wear jeans, but I have a little confession to make. So, I went for a vintage mom jean. I got these in pennies. And I said, so I went for like a vintage effect jean because that's what like Bob Ross wore. He had like blue jeans and his blue shirt. Um, these are actually a nice fit. I'm gonna put them on now. So that's my outfit. And I suppose you could wear like maybe white runners with this. So let's go get dressed. Let's get into character. So we'll start with the clothes. Jeans and a blue shirt. Okay. I'm aware I am kind of like Bob Ross with boobs. But right. Let's get into it. So I have my jeans on, but it turns out my jeans are like super high-waisted vintage jeans. So I'm gonna tuck my shirt in, cause Bob always tucked his shirt in. So, okay. Once I get this wig on, the resemblance is gonna be uncanny. You know what I noticed about Bob? He never had paint on his shirt. And he would hold the palette and he would never get paint on his shirt. Hell. <laughs> this is the bit I'm the most excited about. Okay. Got this wig. I got this in the Silly Shop on Liffey Street in Dublin. So it's near Henry Street. It's that brand Smithy's, which I know all of the costume shops sell. So if you want to get it, I made sure to get one that had a slight ginger hue because Bob's hair, it wasn't black. And I've seen people imitating Bob Ross and doing costumes, but they're going for black wigs. And I'm like, no, it has to have like ginger hue. Then I got, I got this little beard and I got this beard in the, there's a Halloween shop or a party shop out in Liffey Valley. And I popped in there after my NCT and I got this for a fiver. So this is the beard. So I think when we start, let's start with the hair. Yes! <laughs> right, let's take him out of its hair net. Okay. Oh, and this is a wig. Right. Let's see what we can do. I have to use, I know it's really annoying when people look at the viewfinder, but I have to use it because it's my mirror. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the... Hang on, I can feel my own hair poking out. Oh yes! Oh, yes. 
okay. The only critique I have is I feel like this needs a haircut. I feel like Bob would never have let his hair get this full, but it's okay. Will I brush it? I feel like if I brush it, it's gonna come out. Oh, this is fabulous. <laughs> Blondie is looking in the window going, what is she doing? Okay, now for the beard. I think I'm gonna have to zoom in the camera. Oh my God, this is, this is too funny. I'm also aware I have makeup on. That's because I have to like, this is a normal Sunday and I have to go do the food shop after I film this. <laughs> so I know, Bob Ross would not have worn mascara, but you know. So this beard has sticky stuff on it, but it's really hard to get it off. Also, I'm just thinking, if you want to reuse the beard, maybe use eyelash glue to stick it back on your face. This is probably going to be too big for my face. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is too funny. Okay. I'm actually quite laughing. Oh, oh my god. Girls, this, you know what? If this video don't go viral, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've got the kitties. I need to go and FaceTime my brother and say nothing. Okay. Bob Ross, what was he infamous for? Making and painting happy little trees. When I watch the Bob Ross video, my favorite thing is how he pronounces words. So how he says like, kid, yellow. And like, ochre. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I need a painting because if I go around looking like this, people, I don't think they're going to get it. So, I'm going to get my paint set. Now, I'm aware not everyone will have a paint set because, you know, I'm, I'm a creator. Landscape painting, not my strength. So, I'm going to go get my paint set and I'm going to attempt to follow a Bob Ross video and I'm going to try and make a painting. What else is Bob Ross? <laughs> So I'm just setting up my art set, okay? So I'm just using a paint set that I got a little, like, ages ago with the intention to, not to film as well, Ross, but just to paint because the dude is just so relaxing. It makes me think I can paint landscapes. So I don't have the fancy colours. So I just have, like, this little art set. But I've got a palette and I have the thing, the thing that he puts the mountains on with. Spatula. And... I've just got, I've only got like a cheap paint set um, and the colours are numbered. He has like ochre, I love how he says ochre, and like all the colours. So I'm just going to substitute with what I have and we are going to paint a Bob Ross painting. Okay, so this doubles up as like a canvas holder. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I found my video. Season. Okay, Bob Ross Mountain Stream, season 11, episode 1. I like the look of this, and it's one that I haven't seen. Blanky's just looking in the window. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bob Ross. There he is. Right, let me get my paint set up, gonna see what I need, then we come back to me paint. Right, I'm set up. I'll try and put like Bob in the corner, I've seen people do that in videos. I have my little, I love when he does that when he's doing like mountains. Okay. My brush is too just big. How do people follow this in real time? We can pause, Bob. Because oh, my sky is too dark. <sighs> Not to worry. Okay. Let's put. 
himself would say there is only happy accidents. Okay. Let's just go on to the next step. We're making a stream. Ooh. That's what, when Bob beats the devil out of me. That's, that's the best part of the show. Okay. I'm not happy with my stream, so I'm, I'll have to keep doing my stream. I'm using acrylic paints that are cheap. Um, they're really hard to get across the canvas. So I added a bit of water. That's probably totally wrong. But I've, I was channeled through Bob Ross to do that. <laughs> So I'm going to wash my brush and beat the devil out of it. This is actually one of my furniture painting brushes because these ones that came in this set, I mean, they're probably for smaller things, but I am painting this with like a three inch, uh, two inch, yeah, furniture painting brush, but that's all I got. My clouds don't look like happy little clouds. Okay, so the dull mountains now. So the fan brush is coming out. You know what happens when the fan brush comes out. It's time for happy little trees. Kills at all. A little acrylic set of Valley is not what you need for this, but it is, it's actually easy to follow if you want to just make it for Halloween. So, okay. I should probably sign the end of it. He always uses like red, um, he does like a B or so I should probably do that. But that's my painting, so we can hold that then. for your props is you could just leave this to dry and um, then bring this out as because this is like acrylic you can wash this in like warm soapy water after and then use it um, if you d I hate buying things to waste them so if you do like buy an art set pass it on and give it to like a niece a nephew like one of your friends kids or something so do pass it on um, but yeah you can let this dry bring it out as your prop or bring your painting out as your prop and then just wash it with warm soapy water and all of that will come out. My wig is starting to get a bit itchy. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, just here my wig is like. You can also just put paintbrushes in your pocket as well. So I hope you had a bit of fun today. If you dress up as Bob Ross after seeing this video, please let me know. You can tag me on Instagram, whatever. Email me. I just want to see a picture <laughs> of you as Bob Ross. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I normally like paint furniture and not landscape paintings like Bob Ross so um, if you are new hit the subscribe button we are kind of like a crafty channel for anyone who downloaded last week's free furniture guide and gave me feedback thank you so much I'm glad you guys got value for it if you guys haven't downloaded it I'll leave a link in the description box get all that good stuff out of the way so that's us for this week 
happy, happy Halloween. I will have a video next Thursday, which will be the 31st, which will be Halloween, but it won't be Halloween themed. Um, so I want to wish you all now a happy Halloween. If you're going out this weekend, have fun. Choose humour over horror. Um, yeah, have fun and I'll see you all next week. Bye.